Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your squeeze page that you set up. All right, so now, now that we have set up our NVU, okay, so um, we have set, we used our NVU to create uh, create our squeeze page and do all the changes. What we need to do now is to open up your uh, worksheet. Open up your worksheet, okay. This is your worksheet, alright. Open up your worksheet. Look at Internet Business Tools. Under here, you can see your hosting. What we're going to do is we're going to log in to our C panel. Okay, you need to log in to your C panel. Okay, for me, my C panel login is this one. And this is my username and my password, alright. So, what I'm going to do is this I'm going to copy this. Alright, I'm going to go open up a new browser. Okay, paste it in. Okay, this is my C panel. All right, you have your own C panel. What I want you to do is log in for you to log into your C panel. Okay, um, let me put in my password, my login details. Okay, once we're done, this is where you what you will see. All right, in your C panel. All right. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is scroll down. We need to FTP or upload the HTML file so that it can appear in online, all right? So that your prospect can find your website. So what I want you to do is look under these files on this icon called File Manager, all right? Click on this File Manager, and this pop-up will appear, all right? So always uh, use the default uh, web root, okay? Public underscore HTML, okay? And then make sure that your domain name appears here, all right? So you choose your domain name. Once you're done, you may want to skip this question and always open the directory. Just press this and go to click on go, right? Okay, so now this is the next page that actually opens opens up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is very simple. Okay, make sure, you can see here, make sure uh, is your your this uh, folder here is public underscore HTML, all right? So once it's public underscore HTML, that means you're on the right path, all right? So over here on the right hand side, these are all the, uh, you can actually upload your web HTML files here so that it can appear online, all right? So if you were to, if next time if you want to upload any websites, make sure you upload it under public underscore HTML. Okay, so what we're going to do now is remember the five files that we have created. Okay, the index, the whitelist, the privacy policy, and the DL report file, and all that, all the all together, the file of it. Okay, we're going to work, what we're going to do now is we're going to upload these five files. Okay, we're going to go to upload, click on upload. Okay, a new file will open. Yeah, we can see over here. All right, so they see there's three of them here. Okay, you may want to click on this, add another upload box, click twice, so that they're all together. One, two, three. Oops. So all together, one, two, three, four, five, five of them here, all right? So what I'm going to do is this, click on here, <coughs> all right, and the pop-up will appear. If not, you can always click on Browse, click on Browse, all right? So now I'm at my desktop, so what I'm going to do is this, we're going to search for our Inbox Cache Blueprint Squeeze page, all right? Double-click on this Inbox Cache Blueprint Squeeze page. I can see all these five files here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's five HTML files here. So we're gonna upload this one, two, three, four, five. These five files. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the first one. DL report. I'm gonna open. Alright, so now what we are doing, we are actually uploading the file to the hosting right now. Okay. So we're gonna click on browse again. Then I'm gonna upload the second file. I will double click on this. Okay. I can see it's uploading right now. So I'm going to click on the third one. Okay, now we're uploading. Fourth one, I'll just repeat this. And then the last file, whitelist, okay. So now just, let me just wait a while. Okay, you can see we are almost done. Okay, five files is 100% complete. Okay, so once we're done, once I'm done, I will close this. Close this, close this file, close this page, just close it. Okay, so from here, I will click on Home to refresh the page. Oh, sorry, uh, I shouldn't be called clicking Home. Okay, what I should do is this, I should click on public underscore HTML. All right, on the, on the left hand side, click on public underscore HTML. All right, so you can see on the right hand side, 
Let's go down. You can see all the five image, uh, five folders, uh, uh, five files are here. HTML files. One, two, three. All right. This is not ours. Four, five. All right. So they are all together. One, two, three, four, five. Five files. All right. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to upload the images. All right. Remember we have images in the squeeze page as well in the websites. Okay. So what we're going to do is this. Okay. Right now, some of you may have images folder that's been created by default. Some of you may not have it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete this. Okay. If you have it, good. Just leave it as it is. But if you doesn't have it, let me show you how to create your image folder. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, so just imagine that I don't have it. If you have it, we are going to use it. All right. If you doesn't have it, let me show you how to create your own image folder. All right. So what I'm going to do is this. Um. Oops. Okay. Go to new folder on the left hand side on top. Click on new folder, and you may want to key in images. All right. No capital I. Ah. Do not put capital I. Ah. Small I. Okay. All low. All lower caps. Okay. Once you are done, click on create new folder. And you can see. Our images folder is being created. Okay, if you double click on this, what I want, what I want you to do now is to double click on this images. All right, double click on this. You can see there's nothing inside, no records found. Okay, okay, good. All right. So if you have anything inside here, inside the images file, don't don't worry about it. Okay, just leave it as it is. All right. If you if, if there's nothing inside, it's okay. So what I'm going to do is now is go to upload the files. Go to upload. Okay, same thing over here. Click on Browse. Okay, so over here you can see five image, five folders. Okay, you can see this images folder. All right, so double click on this images folder, and you can see all these files. All right, so one, two, three, four, all together there are thirteen files. So I'm gonna upload all these thirteen files. Okay, I'm gonna do it one by one. Double click on this. Double click on the second one. Double click on the third one. Okay, let me just add in more boxes. All right, third one. Let me double click fourth one. One, two, three, four. Number click fifth one. Number click. All right, just make sure you do up all of it. Uh, hot music. Lock. Okay, let me just do it some more. Okay, this lock is really as this is okay. I'll override it. Oh, oh, I actually upload twice. Upload. Okay, now let's say while you're uploading the files. Okay, now I'm left with um. Let me see how many more. Okay, I'm left with two more. Now let's say if I upload halfway, there's some error, or you know um um some some of it hang. You may you may experience this, all right? Some of the uploading actually hangs, or you may not be able to complete all. It's okay. Okay, let's say I I I I'm being stuck right now. Okay, I can't carry on. Okay, uh, something hang. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this. Very simple. I can you can actually just close. You can see there's a lot hundred percent complete. Okay, you can just actually close this file. Just close the tab. All right. So over here under the file manager. What you need to do is very simple. Just look on the left hand side. You can just see this images images folder that you create. Just click on this once. You can see here it's loading the data. Okay, so you can see these are the files that has been completed. So what you need to do is very simple. Just go through it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, you can see eleven of it has been completed. So I have two more files. So I will just go and carry on to upload the, the other two files. Okay, so I'm going to go to upload. Anytime if you will experience a problem, just close the tab, and then go back to here, and then click on upload again. All right. So let me upload the rest of the two files. All 
Okay, last one to go. Okay, I'm done. All right, so let me just close this. So let me just on the left hand side, let's click on images again. Okay, so now there are 13 images folder, images file over here. All right, so we are, I will say we have completed uploading the website. So what you can do right now is to just go to open a new browser or a new tab and then key in your domain name. I go to your domain name, click enter, and your squeeze page is up. All right, all right, isn't this nice? Okay, all right, so everything is working fine. If you want to check, you can actually check out um, all the pages over here. Okay, right at the bottom. All right, these are all pages that you have created. All right, okay, so let me just go back to the home page. Okay, so this is your squeeze page. So now, once what you need to do now is to spend the next few months, six months, 12 months down the road promoting this squeeze page of yours. All right, promote this squeeze page. And when you have a prospect, so put in their name and email address over these two sections and then click download. Okay, they'll be brought over to your uh, download page to download your free report. And in the meantime, you will send them to your inbox cache. Uh, blueprint affiliate link. Okay, that is where you will uh, promote your first affiliate products. Okay, I can uh, sa safely assure you that you know if you can send 100 leads, you can get 100 people to register at the website here. You should get a couple of sales. Okay, you should get some number of sales. Okay, in fact, we have some students whose conversion is pretty good. All right, every 40 sales. Oh, uh, sorry, every 40 opt-ins, he have one sales. Some as high as every 20 opt-ins, he will have one sales. All right, so everything will depend on you right now. We have successfully set our squeeze page. The next thing you do is to spend time and concentrate on driving traffic to your squeeze page.